one, it's Rose, and that's Cher, and this is Romeo. And today I'm gonna be filming a clothing haul for you guys from a company that I keep seeing advertised on TikTok called Blushmark. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and jump right into it. What? All right, Romeo can't stay in here because He's out of control. <laughs> but Cher can stay. She'll stand or sit in a corner somewhere. And make hopefully a little less noise than that. Anyway, so blush mark, I've seen it all over my TikTok like ads. Every time I get an ad on TikTok, it's blush mark. And in my mind, blush mark is basically just Shein, if you've ever ordered from Shein. Um, super cheap. It's like everything I bought was like five to ten dollars or less, probably. Um, and I got a free gift included in that. So, let's start, we might as well just start with what's on top. Everything comes in these plastic bags, which is horrible for the environment, but it is what it is. This was my free gift, which is this tiny crop top, one shoulder top situation. So, let me put it on and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, here's the top. Very short for a crop top that I would typically wear. And I feel like, I obviously need a strapless bra for this, but I feel like you're also seeing a lot of my bra on this side. Like at any moment, this is coming down and just revealing it all for you guys. Um, I mean, I would just need some really high-waisted pants and these are already pretty high-waisted. Um, I mean, I like the idea. I really want a long sleeve, like one shoulder top in the market for one of those but this just isn't it. It fits fine, this is a large, um, so I feel like the sizing is not bad. It's just the material is very cheap and it's very short for a crop top. Like you're seeing the underside of my tattoo, so very short. Like my belly button is like right here. So you're getting all of this. All right, next one is, oh, a big letdown. I was really excited for this shirt. I've been looking for a crop top that's a halter top for a long time and I was really excited about this one because online, like, I like all these colors. To me, it's like, they were very 70s looking. They're a lot darker in person than they are they were online. The other thing is, is I thought this was a ribbed material and what it looks like to me is that they've taken a picture of a ribbed shirt that looks like this and, and like printed it on this like, very cheap, almost swimsuit-like material. And I don't know if this is gonna read on camera, but like you can see, like especially in this light blue and the brown, it looks like it's a ribbed material. It's not, it's not ribbed. I was really excited for this. Not so excited now, but let's go ahead and I'll try it on for you guys. So this is the top. I don't know how it's reading on camera. I don't feel like in person it looks that bad, but it probably looks cheap. Um, I don't love this material, but I like the length of this crop top better than the black one. Um, it's, I mean, I obviously, I need a uh, strapless bra for this one as well, but I feel like this looks all right. Um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip in half or anything. This is also a large, so the sizing seems to be running pretty true to size, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I just wish this was the rib material that I thought it was based on the picture, but whatever. This is a flannel like button up shirt. Uh, let me just, I'm just throwing it on over this. It's supposed to be a little oversized. Um, I like the idea of this for fall with like a crop top underneath and like my baggy jeans that I have on today and like, you know, a, a 90s grungy kind of a look. I like this, it may be a little too oversized for me, but I don't hate it. So this isn't bad. And this feels like, you know, like a flannel button up shirt kind of material that you would get at a regular store. So this is a two thumbs up for me. This is again, a size large and it's meant to be oversized. So yeah, I like this. This is actually a win. So, so first win of the whole haul. Next up, this was another shirt that I was excited for because I've been in the market for one of these. It's like, a, um, you know, like the undershirts that the guys wear, like that's a white um, tank top, but it has like a little cut 
cut out in the front, which I don't know if that's gonna translate until I put it on. But this material is again like a swimsuit material, but it is ribbed, but it's very much see-through. Like you can really just see all everything through that. Um, but like this tank top under this flannel is like what I'm here for. So let me try this on for you guys real fast. All right, so here is this. I feel like it, it fits funny up through here. And I, in the pictures, I feel like this was more of like a V cut instead of like this weird U shape. Um, it also is doing one of these things where it's like falling lower in the front and like cutting up on the sides, which I don't hate. Um, it is very see-through, but I like the length of this one as well. Um, and under this, you're probably not gonna be able to see through it anyway. So if I were to throw this back on, like, I don't hate it. Not the worst thing I've ever worn, <laughs> but definitely like a cheap material that probably if I washed it is gonna shrink real bad. Again, I only probably paid like $4 for this or something, but not the best. So next we have, this shirt, which is like another ribbed top. Um, it's almost like a velvety feeling, but it's not velvet. It's very soft. It's another crop top, but it's long sleeve. It smells awful, um, like chemicals. But it, the, the quality of this material is a lot thicker than everything else that I've tried on so far. Um, I would still say the best quality is the flannel button-up thing, but this is probably second. Um, so let me give this a try. All right, so this is the um, long sleeve crop top, which is actually probably the best fitting thing so far. And I think that's because I don't know if this will translate. It like cuts off here and then it's kind of ruched in like the, the chest area. So like it gives you room for your chest. There's a weird seam there that I'm just now noticing, but, um, and then it kind of cuts in tighter at the waist, which I think is flattering for me. This is another size large. Everything is in a size large, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is like, I don't hate this either. This I would probably wear when it starts to get cooler here in Florida. Um, I had the option to get another one of these in a different color for the free gift. And I wish I would have done that because I, this is something I actually see myself wearing. I like this cut um for the neckline too um with some like high black jeans probably high-waisted black jeans um but yeah i don't hate this definitely not great quality i would be terrified to wash this because i feel like this would shrink or like this material seems like it's gonna pill like crazy because it's like fuzzy kind of i don't know if, if that'll translate on camera at all that it's like fuzzy i don't know but not awful, again, probably like $5. I'll put prices on the screen when I edit. All right, next up, I was really excited about this shirt. Um, it was a fail. <laughs> this is supposed to be a Harley Davidson t-shirt. It's not t-shirt material at all. And it's just a Harley Davidson like print with a black background that was printed on white material. And it's like super cheap. I feel like the graphic is like very cheap looking. I don't know, it may look okay on camera. It looked great online and then you get it and it's just like very saturated. It's not like worn like, like the Harley logo is supposed to be on shirts. It's just like, I don't know, it's not, not the best. But I also got this and I bought bike shorts from them to go with it. It's another swimsuit material kind of feeling. And I feel like they're going to be very see-through. Yeah, you can see right through that. Um, but with like a long shirt over it, I guess it's not that huge of a deal. So let me put both of these things on for you. All right, so the shirt is meant to be oversized. I don't know how flattering this whole situation is. I feel like these bike shorts are a lot longer than bike shorts I would normally wear. Um, and they fit weird. They're a size large. I would typically like wear bike shorts that like hit me here probably. Um, this shirt is super soft. I, uh, I just hate this. This is, I don't know why, but I hate this. 
Um, maybe it's because these arms come down so far, like hit weird up here. I don't know. I hate this though. This will be a sleep shirt for sure. I don't know, like, and I can't even roll the sleeves to attempt to make it look any better because it's a different color. Anyway, that's what you get. That's what you get. I guess I'm gonna finish the video in this because this is making me feel great about myself. Um, so I'm on a really big fanny pack kick right now. Don't ask me why. Um, this isn't really a fanny pack. This is just like a small um, purse that's supposed to be worn kind of like you know, like the hip kids are doing these days, like this, or you can like wear it on your back like so, which I'll probably wear it like this, but it has like this like blue and white, almost like tie dye or cloud print on it. And you can just unzip it and it has like, let me take it off. And it has like one pocket. This isn't bad. Um, I, it doesn't feel like if I use it, it's gonna break on the first use or anything. So that's good. This this um, strap is kind of cheapy, but I mean, it is what it is. I don't hate this, I'll use this. I have a pair of sandals. I'm really into like braided sandals right now. These have like a braided strap. These sandals I got from Forever 21 a mile ago I have like two braided straps. But anyway, um, I've been wanting like a single like slide on pair of strap sandals. So these are a size, a European size 38. I wear a size seven shoe typically. They're sheer. Um, but yeah, so those are what these look like. They're not uncomfortable or anything. I guess we'll see if they stain my feet black as I wear them in like sweat. <laughs> But yeah, so that was everything that I got from Blushmark. Um, I think the total came out to like 60 bucks maybe at the end of it all. Um, is it worth it to order from them? I would say no, because out of all of these things, the things I'll wear consistently are that flannel shirt, that long sleeve, like ribbed black crop top, and probably that like cloud looking purse and these shoes. The shipping was really fast. I think I got it in like less than a week than when I ordered it, which was surprising because it came from, I'm pretty sure it came from China because it was shipped via DHL. As far as blush mark is concerned, I would give it a, a thumbs down for me. I wouldn't, I'm probably not gonna order from them again, um, except maybe I might get another one of those long sleeve ribbed things. I don't know. If I would say that if you're looking for like trendier shoes, like these sandals, it's probably not a bad idea if you're not wanting to spend a ton of money. I think these were $11. Um, and they actually feel like decent quality. But it's again, do you want to contribute to fast, fast fashion and all of these things? There was so much plastic. It's unbelievable in the packaging. But that's what you get. To me, it's very similar to Shein. I've ordered from Shein before and it all comes in like the individually plastic stuff and the quality it's always like that weird swimsuit material and that's what most of this stuff was so i wouldn't risk it if i were you ordering from it learn learn from me don't do it don't fall for the tiktok stuff so yeah that is it for me as far as this haul is concerned if there's any clothing places that you want me to try out as like a mid-sized person i'm typically like a 10 12 um, sizing with like a medium or large shirt. If there's any mid-sized people watching me and you want me to try out someplace for you, let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more from me, please subscribe, like the video. Um, thanks to everybody that's been sticking around and hanging out for the new content. If there's anything that you want to see from me other than hauls and all of that, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.